Hi and welcome to IO Live. I'm Florina Montanescu, your host, and I'm here today with Sasha Proyster, Director of Product of Android TV. Hi, Florina. So tell me, Sasha, what's new with Android TV? Hey, um, yeah, we have a bunch of stuff um, that we're excited to talk, uh, spe specifically with developers at uh, Google I.O., because it is a developer conference after all. So we do a lot of uh, talks and sessions here um, about how TV app developers can actually integrate really well with Android TV. So as you can see on the screen, if I just scroll around a little bit, we want, we want app developers to get their top content and like really beautiful pictures all the metadata on screen, but we want to make sure it's not only YouTube or HBO that can do that stuff, we want every app developer can do this, right? So we talk a lot about um, new ways how you can do this integration really nice, um, what ways we have to help you with this, and basically we want to enable developers to have um, really the best content on the TV and make the content really shine, because we want to help them to make their apps popular, right? And then, obviously, it's Google I.O., so we're talking about Android P as well. So um, um, we, have, uh, we have a bunch of new stuff in Android P for users, but also for developers. So some examples for users are we have a, a very new, like, fast setup flow that um, gets you all your favorite apps already uh, when you set up a device. Uh, we have features like autofill, uh, where if you have already logged in on some other device, you already get your login credentials. Um, on Android TV, so you don't have to clumsily enter passwords with the remote control. No one likes that, right? Um, and then, but also there are cool new platform APIs in, uh, in Android P where, um, uh, for example, with uh, external camera support. So you could start to develop camera apps uh, on TV as well. Um, yeah, and that's some of the stuff with Android P when, um, where um, you can use the, uh, the new Android P preview SDK. Uh, it has a TV emulator and you can get started with that if you want. Oh, I know last year you launched the Assistant in the US, but I live in London. Can I finally use it in London also? A very good question. Actually, uh, the international support for the Google Assistant is um, roll uh, on Android TV is rolling out as we speak. So specifically, uh, the UK and some other European countries uh, rolled out in the next few weeks. Uh, but since you mentioned the Assistant, um, one really cool thing we, uh, uh, we announced here at Google I.O. is our new um, soundbar project that we did with JBL the JBL link bar that you can see here and we really like the combination of having a TV device powering your TV screen but with really awesome sound and a far-field microphone uh, built in so you don't really need this remote control anymore. You can basically just sit on the sofa and uh, control your, your TV device or any device connected uh, to the sound bar. So you can ask things like, hey Google, what's my agenda today? Today, there's only one thing on your calendar. It's at 6 p.m. and its title is, Pick Up the Dog. Yeah, I really shouldn't forget that. But um, it's really nice, you don't, you don't have to get up from the couch, look for the remote control anymore. You just talk to your TV in a very natural way. Hey Google, go home. Okay, great, so I can continue losing my remote control. Thanks. <laughs> okay, but still, I'm an Android developer, so what can I do practically? Can I, is there some code that I can already write? Yeah, I mean, you, you could download the Android P Preview SDK with your emulator, but we know developers want to work with real hardware. So one really cool thing we're announcing here at Google I.O. is the ADT2 developer device. It's, uh, for those of you who have been developing for Android TV for a while, might remember we had an ADT1 developer device in 2014 launched at Google I.O. And after four years, we thought it's time to do that again. So it's a neat little Android TV dongle. You can connect to your TV. Um, you can sign up for this. Um, um, we have a sign up form live and we are selecting, um, it's a limited edition device, but we make sure a lot of developers are getting one of those. It's a real cool, small Android TV dongle, voice enabled remote control. So all the things we've been talking about, a content integration, assistant integration for your apps, you can try that all out on the device. Great, thank you very much, Sasha. So we already have a lot of new things for Android TV, both for developers and for end users. So now all we need to do is check out the developer documentation and also sign up for the dongle. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you. Um, this is Florina for IO Live. <laughs>